you ever see that in a test and they tell you your patient has a scaphoid abdomen, they are telling you that the abdominal contents are no longer in the abdomen. Here's a popular one on exams, diaphragmatic rupture. Tear in the diaphragm, typically resulting from blunt abdominal trauma. This allow abdominal organs to herniate into the chest cavity impairing respiratory function and potentially leading to a compromised circulation. Now, if that hole gets stretched or if your abdominal organs get pushed through that hole, now you have abdominal organs or your stomach intruding into your chest cavity. You could already see where this is gonna go bad. Big one here, bowel sounds in the chest. Decreased breath sounds on the affected side. This is not a pneumo and a concave abdomen, also known as scaphoid. If you ever see that in a test and they tell you your patient has a scaphoid abdomen, they are telling you that the abdominal contents are no longer in the abdomen. Now I'm going to be real with you. I know it says elevate the head of the bed if there's no spinal injury suspected. We're going to try to elevate the head because the last thing you want is more abdominal contents to protrude into the chest. So do not put too much air inside the stomach because obviously that stomach is inside the chest. That stomach contents are just going to get larger and the patient's going to have less area for their lungs to expand and breathe. So be mindful.